Hey traders from around the world, this is Jeremy Alexander Newsom with Real Life Trading. Feeling much better today, get my voice back. It's uh, one of those things you don't realize how much you talk or how many videos you do until your voice is gone, your throat hurts. Uh, <laughs> so I've got a lot of resting uh, Monday and Tuesday and excited about the markets today. Uh, Fed announcement stuff came out, not really changing anything. That's pretty much status quo at this point. Not a lot changed on the market. We did get a little bit of selling intraday if I hop in here to the 15-minute chart. Um, I was anticipating that this sell-off could maybe continue, but uh, nope, just got bought right back up. So um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. So the SPY, it looks like this was a little bit of a flag pattern, and we're probably going to keep going up. So I am still in um, this particular bear call, which expires this week. Now, what I'm anticipating at this point is we're probably going to keep going up. So I'm going to hold this until Friday, figure out what happens on Friday. And if I'm in the money, which means SPY is above 206, I'm going to end up rolling it up for a 214, 215 November. That's what I'm going to turn this spread into. So I'm just going to get it above uh, the resistance. And at that point, that would be the all-time high. And again, my anticipation is that if we do continue up bullish, we'd at least run up into that resistance and then get a little bit of selling, even if even if it's for a week or two. Um, and that should give me about 10 cent credit, which will be about break even um, overall. So that's my overall objective on the SPY for that 206, 207. Uh, if you did get a chance to leg into the iron condor, the 195, 194, Talked about that on the 19th of October. Uh, There's a little bit of premium in there, and that's going to likely expire worthless this Friday on the SPY. So anyway, um, I'm still thinking that we go bullish. And uh, again, my overall standpoint is that at some point, if we do this, maybe we trade back down to here and then bounce. I mean, whenever that bounce occurs, whatever the pullback looks like, whatever size, I'm anticipating it could be for the rest of October uh, slash November. And then maybe after Black Friday, when Black Friday reports its sales and things of that nature, then maybe we could uh, buy that dip uh, overall. Here's the IWM, which is the ETF that tracks the Russell. And if the IWM closes above 116.42 today, I'll be slightly more bullish than bearish on the IWM. Yahoo, uh, had a trade set up for Yahoo that has not triggered yet. I'm going to leave this trade open for another day or two, but Yahoo looks to me like an inverted head and shoulders pattern. So we got a little bit of a... Inverted head and shoulders, got a nice gap yesterday from the BABA earnings. Today we got a little bit of a candle. I was looking for a pullback into the neckline and then a bounce. Uh, that has not happened yet. Uh, like I said, I'll leave that open another day or two. But Stan has himself a put sale for November that should expire worthless on the um, third Friday of November. $28 strike on Yahoo. That looks good at the moment. Alibaba. So I love the gap on Alibaba. I think there's a lot of similarities between May 7th and yesterday, uh, October 27th. A lot of similarities, in fact. So I think they're going to play out pretty similarly. And I'm just kind of going in with simply saying that, uh, sure, we could trade up, you know, trade sideways a little bit and then continue higher. But I think we could make it to 86, 87, maybe in the next two or three weeks, potentially. Um, Albert is in a covered call. $90 covered call. Dick's expiring this Friday on Alibaba. Let's go ahead and put that in here. Covered call. Expiring this Friday. Uh, got into that today for just a few pennies, but hey, a few pennies are a good penny sometimes. Very likely that'll expire uh, since it's only two days away until expiration and then likely just end up doing another one. But Alibaba, what a huge, huge rally it's had from 58, bouncing very, very nicely off of that relative low. There's the bounce, there's the retest, there's the continuation. And likely, I think Alibaba keeps uh, going up a little bit. So kind of with the whole market, just be very, very careful about buying right here, you know, at the very, very high. So after the market has rallied very, very nicely, uh, keep that in the back of your mind that if you start getting those emails like, hey, the market looks like it's going bullish now, just be cautious because that's when the rally has already occurred, right? The bullish moves have already happened. So that's when people are going to start likely locking in some profit, taking a little bit of selling off the table. And that's what I'm anticipating will cause a little bit of a sell off, but you know, just a little nice retracement. And I think that bounce uh, will be viable. So awesome stuff. I love it. Uh, there's Alibaba. Apple didn't really have much uh, earnings. Well, let me rephrase. Didn't have much move on earnings. Had a great quarter. 
Uh, if I just remove everything, like support resistance, moving averages, all that, and look at nothing but candles, this is a pretty bullish gap on Apple. So if you are considering, hey, I'm a little bit more bullish than bearish on Apple, um, I am too, as of this earnings. I'm a little bit more bullish than bearish. So there's gonna be a lot of resistance, again, to battle with around this 119 area, but uh, it appears that it might break above that. Again, gorgeous new white soldier kind of candle today on Apple. And if it continues higher, uh, overall, I am more bullish on Apple. One last stock for today is Netflix. Netflix, uh, we do have a bear call spread on Netflix, 108, 109. And the way the market's been recently, uh, I'm just going to say if Netflix closes, pretty much where it is now, more or less, if it closes above here, I'm just going to go ahead and exit this bear call spread. Um, it expires November week one, so there's a week and a half left. If you do unravel, I understand. I mean, 109 is right here. It's not that far away. But my guess is that Netflix could do this, fill that gap, and then maybe roll over. I'm neutrally bullish on Netflix. I think it's a good support around this $96 price range. You're making lower highs. You're making higher lows. I think it's kind of just bullish to sideways, hanging out for a little bit. But, um, yeah, looks good. Interesting to see what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys have any other stocks or any suggestions or anything you want me to look at, as always, feel free to email me, request them. Happy to peer over them in any market review that I do. Free market updates every Monday, Wednesday, Friday here at Real Life Trading. I mean, free. Actually, everything's on our website. It's free. If you ever get a chance, hop over to www.reallifetrading.com, and we post articles, videos quite often on our website along with uh, trade setups over here on the right. So there's some trade setups that I post at Real Life Trading's um, Trading View channel. Then I also post some articles right here, videos, all that kind of good stuff. It's exceptional. Feel free to hop over there, visit it often. It's updated every single day. Ladies and gentlemen, have a great afternoon. And until next time, remember, love life, live life, and trade it.